and the Honda boys are outside today. You got another set of wheels? What is good guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Phil. So, I started out the video today going to a Cars and Coffee, but it, it wasn't like crazy packed. And then it turned into like going to this go-karting thing. But as you guys know, I lost my wallet, so I wasn't able to get on the track today because um, for the, the racing that I wanted to do with the rest of the guys that was there, you need your wallet and, I mean, your ID or your license. Even though my license and stuff is on file, I guess they wanted a physical copy of the license in hand. So I wasn't able to do the race that I wanted to do, so I had to sit that out so I didn't get to record that. Because I brought my camera and every, I, the GoPro for the camera and everything. Um, but right now, it's me, Jermaine, my boy Mike, and JR. I think we're heading into like Hoboken right now. We've been sitting into like some little traffic. But we're heading into like Hoboken because Jermaine wants to um, put some miles on the new turbo setup. He went single turbo. So I'm going to get to show you guys that. He's been working on that thing for like two months. I'm hoping the lighting is good right now. If it isn't, my bad. But yeah, we've been sitting in traffic for like a good 10 minutes and your boy needs gas. You know it's not a Phil S2K vlogs video without me needing to get gas or my car needing to be washed. But um, yeah, it's a nice Sunday. We are out for a little cruise. Hopefully, you know, we get into something cool today. I woke up stupid early this morning, rushed to get here. I didn't get to wash my car or nothing. And the car is like dumb dirty, but this traffic is killing me, man. It's friggin' killing me. Let me see something, let me see something. I hit a mean ass bump in Newark today, so I'm just checking to make sure my shits is good, bro. Cause that bump was crazy. Falling behind your main, man. Man, I still gotta adjust this headlight. I ain't adjusted. But we good. We made it home safe and sound. <sighs> this low light on this car is crazy. I mean, on my camera is crazy. Yeah, I probably ain't even gonna be able to see all that pearl, bro. But your boy is tired, too. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I'm tired. Y'all see that flaky flake? We are back again. Trying to adjust these headlights. I might wash the car today. I'm not sure. But 
I'm trying to get these headlights put together properly, make it look good, so that way, you know, my car could look at least 85%. <laughs> Ooh, y'all see that? So what I had to do was, I adjusted the brackets that's down here. Okay, so you see there's two bolts right here, one, two. And then I adjusted the one that's right down here. I kind of like slid it over a little bit so that way the headlight and the fender could kind of have play. And then I bolted it here underneath under the bottom, this gold bolt right here. And now I got the fitment on the headlight that I was trying to achieve. All right, your boy finished. Freaking dropped the jack stand on my finger. Um, look, oof, oof. Ugh. Oh man, I'm so excited. Cause I was so tired of that shit looking like that, bruh. I think it's because like, I don't know. Anything with the S2000, I feel like you gotta align it a hundred different ways. But um, today is actually the first day I got my uh, COVID shot. I took the first shot today. So I know a lot of you guys are probably like, why would you do that? See, the thing is, I don't know if you guys know my little backstory. I've said it before, but when I was 18 and my lung collapsed and sometimes like I have shortness of breath, like certain things that I do and I don't know. I just feel like instead of being late, then sorry or sorry, then late. I don't know. However that phrase go, I'd rather just get it done. Um, my arm was sore for like, like an hour and then it went away. They did it on my uh, left side, so I'm gonna check to see if there's any magnetic uh, uh, currents coming through my arm and shit. But um, the the car's coming together. I just finished the t the headlights. I actually went underneath the car because I didn't do it the day I was supposed to. That's why the video didn't go out. Been lazy. Um, I figured out what was vibrating that was making that weird noise. It was the O2 sensor. It wasn't tightened all the way, so it was like kind of shaking. Um, but I'm just super happy with how the headlights came out. Like it was bothering me at first. Like it was lined up when I first did it. But because I think one of the bolts either backed out or I don't know, but I had to adjust it to where now it literally sits on the curve of the headlight. So now it's all like almost damn near OEM fitment. It also comes with these little gaskets and stuff. So that way like, you know, I guess it keeps it safe from like water getting in there. And then like I had like a weird gap down here too. fix that. And it was like a little gap here, fix that. So yeah, that was mainly the thing. It was like, if you stood like how I'm standing right here, you could see to the bottom of it. Now it's like right there. So I fixed that and both sides are good. Everything's lined up. And yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm excited for this car. I'm excited for everything that I'm gonna do to it. Um, I'm trying to work with this company to hook it up with the uh, front bumper. Um, I kind of want to do the Voltex side skirts this time. Like I want to do something a little different. Cause being that I'm not going wide body this time, I kind of want to do something that'll make the car look aggressive in its own way being that it will be stock body. I know some of you probably want me to keep it like this, but like, I don't know. I want my car to have like an aggressive look. So I'm gonna have, try to work with getting like a uh, front, different front bumper to oh, uh, Voltex side skirts. I don't know if I'm gonna do the wing yet, but for right now I might do like the OEM duck bill or maybe like the duck bill that I had originally, if you guys remember that. And then, you know, make my way from there. I wanna get like a carbon fiber uh, bonnet, the one that I had before and I think before I do any of that stuff, I wanna find me some red seats, man. I hate that it's two-toned in there. I'd rather get some like bride seats or brid, however the hell you say it, or some Recaros to put in there, or even if I could find the OEM AP1 red seats, I'll do that. So if anyone's interested in trading me, let me know. I could add a little cash depending on how mint yours is. If it's not mint, then I'll straight trade you. But mine is mint, no rips, no nothing in them. So yeah, if you guys are interested in it and you want some black seats, maybe you have full black interior, just red seats, and you might just say, fuck it. Hook Phil up and let me get his, let me give him my red seats. You know what I mean? Hook your boy up. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I don't feel like it's gonna be that long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna let you guys know how my COVID journey, COVID shot journey goes. You know what I mean? Got my first vaccine. <laughs> but um, yeah, the car is coming together. I'm happy and uh, yeah. Can't wait to see what I got next, man. Damn, this shit rubbing a little bit. But yeah, I'm out. Peace. Oh, <laughs>